Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is your Monday 707 and your daily 707. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Victor Machoka and this is your next level. We're talking about careers. How, how do you choose careers? And uh, I had the privilege of speaking at a certain place and to young people trying to figure out what do they want to do? What do they want to become? Where do they want to go when they grow up? And this is the first thing that I, I want to tell you. We have a challenge, especially in Africa, with our education system because our education system is so generic. And unfortunately, we allow young people to go through basic and general training and education, sometimes all the way till 18, 20, 21, 22. You find that the education system is just the same for everybody. It doesn't give them an opportunity to specialize until they are sometimes past compass. And this is unfortunate because when a child is younger, between 8 and 14, 15, that's when their habits and their character is being formed. Now, when you look at most of the great people, most of them started when they were young, before they were teenagers. I mean, the Williams sisters, eight, nine, Tiger Woods, eight, nine, uh, Michael Phelps, the most decorated swimmer. You're looking at 12, 11. So most of these guys who are actually great at, or phenomenal at what they do, they start preteen. But most Africans figure out what they want to do when they are 18, 19, 20, sometimes even 24. So here's my advice to you. If you're a parent, if you're a, if you're a parent of a teenager or a young person, get them to start early. Let them interact with the things that they like. Let them get an opportunity to specialize on some of the stuff that they like very early on. Don't be afraid of a child messing around with an instrument at 8, 9 years old. Don't be afraid of a child messing around with farming or even money saving when they are 7 years old, 8 years old, 10 years old. By the time you're 12 years old, 13, 14, you should start figuring out what is it that I love? What do I really want to do? And don't just focus on academia. Double in the arts, double in farming, double in money markets and stuff like that. Get interested in different kinds of things because when you're younger, your character, your mind, your muscles, your behavior begin to form and coalesce around the thing that you love. Do you understand? So for example, if it's an instrument, you start playing that instrument when you're a child, then what happens is as a child, your fingers and your, your brain, your hand-eye coordination begins to form around the gift that you have or around the thing that you love doing. By the time you're 12, 13 years old, you've got the nuances around these things. You've got the You've mastered the nuances around the particular career that you love, okay? So start early, start very early, as early as you can. Think outside academia. It doesn't have to be stuff to do with the traditional academia. Think outside, get exposure in as many areas as you can and see what comes up. Parents, don't be afraid to let your child specialize in something. There's absolutely no problem with that. Let's see what comes up, okay? This is your next level and we are talking about careers this week every single day. So tune in and I hope you will be inspired. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.